Beautifully ignited souls, we are ready for a new creation. And God called the light day, and the darkness he called night, and the evening and the morning were the first day. Now I'm going to show you how, although there are different ways of doing this, but how this chapter, one of Genesis um, verse 5, comes together. This is what we are required to do in our journey of accomplishment, if you like, or evolution, is to have the light and the dark and the darkness coming together. That's number five. That's the um, secret, if you like. So let's um, show you how, because I want to do um, the numerical value on number 56, which I have done a lot on Brother Polite um, as BP and um, N <laughs> and Michael Nowak, which I may say MN. And um, it's just I feel that in this creation we are in a in the in the stage or in the process or in the environment or the we are in the garden of Eden basically and we are tending to the garden planting new seeds and so on. This is what is happening. So this is why I'm being very um um conscious about how much life or in how much fertilizer how much water how much element how much of my energy that i am giving to a certain um name or person or vibration or oh, and so on and of course in what context or intention so i am going to call on the gods of these um out of the 14 gods um the god we so the 14 gods in case you are new to this channel we have the created god they have and um, which i'm going to put a list so the so these are the created god moved god said god saw god divided called made set blessed ended formed called caused breathed planted so they're gods of planting god of breathing god and so on so it's very much like we have a lawyer you have a doctor you have um you you ha you have nurses you have cleaners or people all different specialities or specialists rather so we have this specialist and for those who like to um think of god as one you know this is just one which god is one and i have done many many videos to show god is one or one, if you like, um, the is everything is one. Everything is actually one. But we see through numerology, through the lens of numerology, how we can now begin to dissect our makeup in the sense of acknowledging different aspects of ourselves, because that's what the gods are aspects of yourself so if you wanted to make a request of your hand to do some cooking handle something you wouldn't actually take your feet to hold a knife or you wouldn't take your hair to to do that or to sweep the floor or to hold a broom or something like that but likewise this is what it is important that we familiarize ourselves with the 14 gods so there is a god of creation meaning god the created god so this if you were doing a work of art or creativity or um, doing your home or something then you call of the god of creativity or of um, the created god the god you wanted to speak like for speaking we could say speak of the um said god or the ended god which we will the ended god is also very important to help timing um the time the the length of the video the sentence the flow or whatever it is then we have the made god of course that curtails the whole thing if you like of shaping and molding and so on okay so i hope i've given you a bit of the flavors of the gods so let's do um yeah so um number 
50 so yes I was talking about Michael Nowak so I've done this but I just feel I have because I've got two videos I did the videos in um, sequence but unfort well maybe this fortunate or oh, but I had actually um, deleted one of the videos and um, so if you've watched any of these please leave your thoughts or your comments um, on anything that you watch on this channel feel free um, I would very much appreciate your comments so yes my last video that I uploaded was on Art Kelly um, not necessarily just him but it's my sentiment about how people are addressing sexual um, trauma and how judgmental they can be about people who are of certain age um, not realizing like I said I have known of a 92 year old woman who was sexually abused but um, had not uttered it to anyone so that means the first step of healing that sort of thing when something has gone in it needs to also have the counterbalance of being out which is the verbal um, talk or repeating bringing it put it out the wound needs to be aired so to speak so to, to begin healing okay after it's been bandaged for so long so now in fact I've had like um, I had four or five names that I have been um, coincidentally using and they're all 11 so we want to show how um, Genesis G-E-N-E-S-I-S -E why we are in this Genesis we this is where we are this equals 33 I won't do the sum again because we've been doing this I would also like to have touched on this on the young Pharaoh as well making reference to this but perhaps I will do this another time but 33 of course when we did the word Michael M-I-C-H-A-E-L um, Noak N-O-A-K so that came to Michael is actually 33 so I wanted to speak a lot about the number 33 as well because of course this is where I said I would mention um, just so you have reference so you understand the energy this is why I'm using people who you could make reference to because you understand the energy or the numerical vibration so um, Noak actually is um, this is 14 so um, if I remember well so this is 6 and this is 14 um, 10 11 12 13 14 so 14 is 5 this is our magic number that we keep talking about on this um, channel number 14 because 14 why we are doing this if I oh let's just do this again I have um, gone through it several times but I'm sure it's okay because here it's um, where uh, Matthew begins in the Matthew is the first book of the New Testament and he begins by giving the genealogy of Jesus Christ um, which I have read a few times and it says okay in verse 17 because 1 7 is God so this is where this is indicating God right there 1 7 so all the generations from Abraham, we had Abraham, David, and we have Babylon, B-A, and we have Christ. So we are looking at, again, four, four um, generations here. So men, remember, we have been talking about four as well. So this could be representing this four. And so all the generations from Abraham to David are 14 generations. And from David until carrying away into Babylon are 14 generations. And from carrying into carrying away into Babylon unto Christ are 14 generations. Now, I'm also thinking that there is something, uh, another hidden message in the repetitions of 14 generations, which is one, uh, four. 
Babylon 14 generations, Christ 14 generations. So we see the number four again. It's like setting a foundation. So this is repeated here again. Okay, so we want to show again the um, construct of five based on Genesis of chapter one, verse five. We will look at Michael Noack. So here we see Michael equals six, which is same so you could say for instance we've brought a polite what we can say here is that he bears the emblem of jesus dying on the cross at the age of 33 this is the story but what is happening with michael right now especially going with the age i think if i did well it's 1983 1983 uh, minus 2021 this would be um, 3 from 11 or oh, is 7 no 8 8 so he's 38 now 38 of course is 11 and oh is 11 and Jesus is also 11 Jesus was also 11 so what is happening here and and this is for our learning to understand how the vibration work so at the age of 33 this at the age of 38 which um and uh which encapsulates the five gods which is the ended god that is ending a cycle ended god the um formed god the cause god the brief god and the planted god Michael Nowak is moving into another level of evolution, just as he puts in his uh, on his um, status, I am the evolution for the next revolution. This is what is happening. Now, of course, one of the things I have um, learned very well lately, more than ever, is that anytime you are moving on to another level, depending on how high this level is as well, you have the force, you have a negative force that, it, that has to meet with where you're at and you are meant to ride to bring this with where you're at. Of course, like a, like a line, basically. So whether it was negative hair and positive hair, but you would have just the same amount where you need to overcome to be able to ride and get to this other level. This is what I feel is happening here. So, and um, to show how these two come, remember we have said that I need to look at the time on here. Okay, 14, the gods are talking to me. Yeah, so here we have in verse oh, 05, this is, a, we are talking about the light and the dark in Genesis of chapter 1, verse 5. And just to bring this again to mind, this is what is happening, people. We are in like the dominoes. It's that um, black and white dot or whatever. The two things are coming together and it's God called the light day. Whatever is happening, you have to... And the darkness he called night. When you call something it becomes present and this is what is happening so these two callings are coming together and here we had and the evening and the morning were the first day so we are now creating again remember there is the day and the night and the morning and the evening we have been looking at i haven't been planning this but we have been looking at four aspects or four energies or four elements here again so this four which is four letters in noah as well is forming a foundation he's forming a foundation right here so looking at the numbers six plus five is 11 11 has it is the foundation it is foundation whether it's chaotic whether it's moving breaking down as i have said 11 is this 
but 11, this is the cross that one has to overcome. This is Jesus on the cross, the crucifixion. And that is what, that is what Michael Nowak, who better known as um, Brother Polite, is going to have to go through his crucifixion. It is a crucifixion. Whether right now, no one needs to be fearful because everything that happens in the dark will become light because they have to come together. This is what is happening. They, you cannot have one without the other. The light is going to shine on the dark. And the dark, of course, is going to recognize the light. It's like see people in a prison cell for so long in the dark or isolated. They go to the light and they get dazzled. So this represents Jesus. I have showed how one plus one, as in word form, as in glad rags, as in one like this equals seven and again this is the two creations so the creation had happened far earlier people than we have thought hidden messages hidden james was from from creation especially from genesis of chapter 1 verse 3 when god said let there be light and there was light so let there be light equals 12 and let there be light equals another 12 which i'm going to put the uniformity of that um, equation the numerical equation here for you to see that everything in this book has a numerical construct or correlation to it. And so we get more essence of these stories or allegories through numerology. So, which is why we are able to see the correlation with Michael and Jesus. They, so Jesus Christ, for instance, is of 11 letters Likewise, when we add Noah and uh, Michael is 11 letters. So I'm not going to do the counting now. But what I wanted to do as well, because I wanted to show the number 56, because I've been doing a lot on 11 um, in the sense of 1-1. One, one. So let us show, let us see something. Just, just to um, whet your appetite on the correlations of things that has been happening. He equals 11. Brother, B-R-O-T-H-E-R -E equals 41. Um, polite, P-O-L-I-G-H-T equals, so this is 5 and this is 6. This is how it works for him. So this here would be 6 and here is 5. This one is five and here is six. Isn't there something really special about this person? When I say special or unique, however you want to put it, and both it equals 11. His um, life path number, if I re recall well, is three. Three is very busy. Three needs to go around and do all kinds of things, get involved in all kinds of things to get um, recognized. Okay, that's the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the mind, body, and soul, and all of those things. Okay, so we have 11. We haven't seen how 11 comes to 5. So this is what we are talking. 5 is key. Let's just see, look at... 5 as key, where the 5 was Christ. I'm going to put the sign of all these number 5s up again. But let's look at um, 56 and see how um, what gems of information that 56 holds. So we say, um, I like to do this, I like to do this, F-I-V-E. And I'm just going with how I'm guided to do here, 56. S-I-X. And I know 6 is 7. Is 16 equals 7? I'm not doing the math on this because of time. And here is 24. And this also equals, and this equals 6. So if we add this together, we get 13 people. And this is the secret head. This is what I am talking about. Now, some numbers are so strong and powerful. This hair is such that when we have, for instance, we look at 11 as 2. 1 plus 1 is 2. 
T W O which is T T of course it's T but it's two five six this equals thirteen can we see what's happening here people can we see the correlation when we do the correlation with Jesus and Michael Noak or Brother Polite here? This, uh, of course, is a new representing the new Genesis, which we all are going through right now with this year, 2021, which is a, a year five, of course. All this is like a... The key is unlocking. That's why we are hearing of all these crimes, the crimes of sexual abuse or whatever it is, whether it, you have done it for how long. This is a new phase. This is a sign. This is like Mother Eve. Mother Eve, it's the mother, is a, if you like. Of course, the universe equals 541. And this is Eve. We are talking about, you know, when a mother is really angry, really painful or whatever it is. Oh, not only that, but another thing is like she's ready to give birth or she has the pangs of um, birthing something or whatever it is. That, you know, you can't speak to her about anything else than maybe just tell her to breathe, which is, of course, um, that equals 40 uh, equals 5 anyway. So we have 5, 4, 5 equals 14. That's Mother Eve. People remember that I have just read about um, Jesus and the generations of 14. We are moving, you know, this is the thing about when you are, so the Christ basically, the Christ, this is when I talk about the us ship, is that I am speaking of there is a group of people, and I believe it's a lot to do with, uh, this comes to mind now, whether it's the 144,000, whatever it is that is happening, but there, are, there is a shift. Let's just put it this way. This major shift that is happening is like um, people are rushing, even if they're not aware, but it's like to get on board. In other words, they are fast-tracking their evolutionary process, they think. Whether they are making an exit into another realm of what we call die, or whichever way it is, they, there is that kind of, um, th that's what is happening. So basically, we have Mother Eve, which is key, and that is Mother Eve is what is there before any event takes place. Is the you know that's the Eve of a major shift. That's what is happening with these people here. This eleven. I also had found myself doing um on Willie D. Willie D. Um uh because I I responded to one of his videos and he too as Willie D. Is eleven because what it is. We are using those those names or numerical values because they are that's getting a lot of energy. You know, when you whoever with all the energy, that's what is being reverberated as as much or as well. So it's good to look at both of these, especially in this context. So back to um Genesis. Genesis equals 33. And let's just look at what else. This is where we see. This is why Jesus would tell you to believe. B-E-L-I-E-V-E. -E -E. He is saying to be like, like Eve, basically. Whatever Eve, there's a lie, you know, there's a lie in the middle. But he's telling you to be like the lie because the lie is this. He's telling you to lay low. There's a time to lay low, it's the eight, or to eat, because that's what most people did, eat. Like Adam and Eve, or like uh, the children of Israel. Everything that happened, I have done a lot on eat, or they ate, or they did something. The word did also is eat. So, um, all this equals eight. So basically, be eight, 
and but eight being eight is Eve because Eve ate all. Okay, you get it. All right. So believe actually. Let's just do do this. B e l i e v e. I'm just doing for the words that I can remember right now. P e r s o n and um, P e o p l e. Um, what else? Police. P. I don't know why they all happen to be police. The P's here. L i c e. And these are six letters. So all this is 33 people, 33. And we have about the 33 degrees. <laughs> okay, all right, not mixing too much. So six letters, which is people or person, all this tells us that there is that new creation. The new creation that says, let us make man. Make man. Man in our image, our image. Okay, we know it's image here. Now, image, I think, is eight. Uh, this is nine, nine, eighteen. This is nine. This is five. This is one. This is um, five, ten, eleven, twelve. So, this is three, five, ten. And two twelve, so this is four. This is one. Let's add this together. This is um seventeen, um seventeen, twenty two, twenty three, twenty six, twenty six, um thirty, thirty one. So um, again, we are looking at foundation. This is bringing us foundation. Let us make man. Now I did in I did so do let us make man in our image, which gives us thirty one, which is the reverse, basically thirty one is showing the mirror image. So there is death. It's like saying we have this. Let us make man in our image because whatever you are making, of course, is equal or if you like, it's equal to this 31 it's like a mirror image of of that we are talking about so death actually is the we see death as two we know what two is the word two and so this is why this is representing jesus with the 13 disciples and of course jesus dies which is or gets crucifixion or crucified but he has an ally. Remember us, um, Judas, who is supposed to betray him. But this is where the two comes in again. So Jesus and Judas becomes two. They are also representing number 13. Even while we have the other 11, which also adds up as 11. Remember, this guy we are talking about has this 11 both sides. So it's like a dying hair and another to resurrect and do the work. Whether it's his followers, the 11 disciples he may have to do his work and leave on his name. So his name in whatever way or um, his legacy, whichever way we look at it, has potential to, to live on. So this is what we see here. It's not called a master number for nothing. And I believe that this master person is going to do everything to pursue that aspect of his makeup. I'm hoping that this makes sense. Just um, going over this, we are, I wanted to expand a bit more on the number 56, looking at it in its glad rags as in 5 and 6. Because we have been doing 1 and 1. We have seen that 1 plus 1 comes to 5 and how that means that Christ, C-H-R-I-S-T, equals 32. Christ, of course, becomes the Savior who has the lock. It's like... When Christians say, you know, you need to accept Christ, it's like saying you need to accept a key. You need to have the key to unlock the door. And that is what um, people 
uh, thinking about like a man or whatever it is, but it's the vibration, the energy, the um, the energetic vibration of how to harness and use this. And basically, you can do this by um, being in tune with, of course, meditation, etc. But the synchronicities and intuition really helps a lot. So we have seen, and this is why, of course, Christ wasn't telling you about people, people, but he was saying, if you believe, meaning if you are people, he's Jack, the word believe again is to get you to reverberate and ignite that energy. But he's also leaving another secret to say, hey, there's Eve at the end. Be like, be that. Be the key of for because the key is there. When you be like or you belly, however you want to see it, um, you are actually going to get onto the key, which which is Eve. But there's the death, the double death coming through here. So thirty three itself is also representing double death when we do. Three. This is why three is so creative. It's dying and resurrecting, dying and resurrecting, dying and resurrecting. So that equals 11. Another three equals 11 again. So this is showing like 2020, if you like. So this is master number, master transformation. There is a big transformation happening. And people with this energy is very instrumental in that, in that um, transformation. People with 33, with master numbers, it's very pinnacle. So people like... Um, like I had Willie, uh, Willie, for instance, who had um, five, nine, three, three, and nine, five. This is saying quite a lot here, quite a lot here, that he has the uh, manner of creating, and perhaps it's no wonder he has such a large following on YouTube because he is able to get the key here. He's able to see, have people, whatever it is, and have this other key here, which is giving a total of 16. 1 plus 6 is 7, and denoting creation right here. But these people are not without the challenge. And right now we are in this challenge because the number 5 is ending of a cycle and beginning another cycle. So for... Willie, for instance, I feel that he's going to go through, um, I'm not predicting here, but it's indicating that there is a challenge with the number 33. Now, it's no wonder as well, I haven't heard his thought on Brother Polite, but uh, his thought on on um, R. Kelly, who also is a uh, K -E -L -L -Y, is also an 11 because this is nine, this is two, five, three, three, seven, and so this is ten, eighteen, nineteen, twenty nine is also eleven. So, and when he gave his um thought on this, I that's what got me curious, and I was thinking, well, why is this guy? It's almost like um very subtle little um, defensive approach and I thought well what are you talking about you know I was like um, let me do the numerical value and that's when I discovered that they all have the same numerical value here he has the same as um, that is um, Willie D has the same 11 as R Kelly and we are talking about um, brother P as well so all these are uh, very relational and I wanted to do that. So another thing with the 56, I once also wanted to look at 56 in another way, all in its glad rags, because I have showed um, another thing about 56. There were 56 men who wrote the um, 
the declaration who signed for the declaration so i'm going to um, add this on and you will get the insight about 56 but let's look at 50 f i f f i f t y 56 so let's look at it like that which is six nine six two seven and this is one nine six which is 16 and this is 7. So we know this is 7. Let's look at this one. This is um, 15, 20, this is 30. So this is 3. So 3 plus 7 also gives, it gives us 10. So can we see people? In here, we still have 10, for instance, is like the masculine and the feminine. And this is the seed of sowing. So in this um, construct of what we are talking about, we are talking about a new people. And 10 actually is um, re a strong representation of the first um, word of creation. That's why I call it creation in Genesis of chapter 1 verse 3 when we hear the word let. This is like um, opening a tap. It's like opening the tap, which is L-E-T, which is three, of course, three. As I say, three goes a long way, five, two. And this, of course, becomes 10. 10 in this way is 12. And this is the 12 zodiac signs, the 12 days of the um, 12 um, hours of the day, the 12 um, months of the year, the 12 um, tribes of Israel, all this 12 is happening here. And so, of course, we see we like with people or person, which equals six, of course, we see there were two creations. This is also indicative of the creations. I'm hoping, of course, if you have... Um, made sense of this let me know if you haven't and you want more clarity or you would like me to um look at a case or someone or some event or something just to be able to understand the numerical vibrations like i have mentioned with um perhaps brother um or young pharaoh for instance if you just let me know and let's see how we can do this so in conclusion to this we see the number 56 which i have done a video to show more about the 56 and we are seeing the the power of 56 here of course also coinciding i should say when we have 10 we should also see 10 as one that means we are going back like this and this is another way of saying 1 equals 16 and is 7 and this is the creation. So you can see this is another way of all the two um, ones, 11, coming into this one creation again. Okay, so I hope you get that people, I really hope you get this. So, okay, so thank you for watching. Stay ignited and united. Okay.